And welcome back. We had a couple of really good matchups in high school basketball tonight. We start with number one against number two in boys class AA. The top ranked Patriots at the Knights gym and everything that Derek Roby drew up in the first half worked. Like this, Jeremy Jones with a drive. He had 10 points in the first half and the Knights were up by a bunch. And when Zach Norton hits a three to end the half right before the buzzer, it's 35 to 17 O'Gorman at halftime. Keep in mind, Lincoln's ranked number one. Pats make a run in the third quarter. Jared Jaros, who was scoreless in the first half, drains the long three. Then it's gonna be Max Burchell. Nice fall away there. And finally, Nate Brecht, who uh, led the uh, Patriots in scoring with 13 points, bangs at home, and all of a sudden it's 39-31. The Patriots are roaring back into the game with five minutes gone in the third quarter, but Luke Ronsick, that's his sister Emma too. They're both pretty good basketball players. His fifth three of the game, he had 20 points to lead the way. Canyon Bauer gets one to rattle home and watch this. Eddie Myler in the paint. When you get that ball to hang there, watch, and it drops. And the crowd goes crazy and O'Gorman wins 62 to 44. In class A of girls hoops, we had the top ranked and undefeated West Central team at number four, Sioux Falls Christian, there's Lexi Unruh. She had a nice first half with 11 points in the game. You talk about being in the right place at the right time. Cheyenne Masterson is. <laughs> she got the ball from her teammate who was on the floor and puts it up and in. Trojans up by two at this point. Keep in mind they're ranked number one. That's when Courtney Kellenberger took over. She gets hot from three point land, number 24 for three. Number uh, 24, give it back to her because she's feeling it. There we go. You know, I think you should just design one more play for her. Andrea Begum the coach says, she shoot another one. She had 13 points and the Chargers were up by five late in the first half and by three at halftime. But in the second half, the Trojans take over. Great pass there by Riley Haldeman to Cassidy Simmonsma. And then watch Jocelyn Jarding with a nice drive here as the Trojans with stifling defense in the second half Held the Chargers to just 12 points after intermission. Let's go to your scoreboard. They go on to win 42 to 33. MVP beats MCM. That's Mount Vernon Plankinton over McCook Central Montrose. In case you didn't know what the uh, letters stood for. Harrisburg beats here in tonight. Bearsford over Vermillion. Big win for the Watchdogs. They're having a great year. Uh, Brookings over Yankton. Lennox beats Dakota Valley. Sioux Valley over the Flandreau Indian School. Garrettson over Baltic. Millbank beats uh, Madison in the Battle of the Bulldogs. Pier over Aberdeen. Del Rapids beats Canton. Wagner over Platt Geddes. Winner beats Miller and T Area over Tri Valley. Now we get to what I was so busy with tonight. We got all the region scores for you. Warner beats Great Plains Lutheran. Clark Willow Lake wins. These, these are in Region 1B. Wabe Summit and Waverly South Shore also win. In Region 2B, Ipswich and Harriet Selby will advance to the semifinals along with Sully Buttes and Falkton. In Region 3B, DeSmet and Dubrook both victorious tonight. They advance to the semifinals with Arlington and Castlewood. In 4B, it's Ethan winning big. They're ranked number one and undefeated. Hanson wins with 77 points tonight. Game of the night, Chester beat Howard 83-78. Sanborn Central, Woonsocket wins in 5B. Uh, hmm, I don't know what happened to that El Sister Hudson score. The only score I don't have tonight is the Freeman one. Bridgewater Emory, I think it was 66-51. Uh, Menno beat Viberg Hurley 51-41. Irene Wakanda 51-42. Corsica Stickney in 6B and Avon both win along with ACDC Trip Delmont Armor in 7B. New Underwood and White River victorious along with Laura Brühl and Kadoka. And in 8B, Faith and Newell go to the semifinals along with Timberlake and Dupree. Now, women's basketball, big win for presentation. They knock off Waldorf, that's an upset. They advance to Saturday's semifinals in Watertown. Dakota State loses to Bellevue. Boys hoops, there's your Gorman score again. Sioux Falls Christian beat Madison in a good one, 65-61. Washington over Mitchell. Yankton beats Brookings. Dakota Valley and Falkton both win tonight along with Ipswich and Coleman Egan. Parker beats Flandreau. Aberdeen over Pierre. There's those schools again. MCA, MCM got the win in this one. Marshall over Roosevelt. It was Del Rapids beating Canton. Vermillion was the winner tonight over Beersford in the boys game. And Platt Geddes, darn it, they beat Wagner. 
62 to 56 in overtime, got through all those scores and messed up the last one. All right. The Storms start their arena football season on Saturday in Cedar Rapids. You will certainly need a program when they finally play a home game in late March because five of their first six games are on the road with the Premier Center being kind of busy with all these basketball tournaments we've got coming up. Lorenzo Brown is back for another year as signal caller, but Curtis Riggs knows it's going to take a while for so many new players to gel as a team. So he's actually okay with so many road games to start the season. Yeah, five out of six. I, I think it benefits us, though. I think it's a, a great chance for a young team to get out on the road, get to know each other, um, face adversity on the road where you don't quite have the pressure of being in front of your own fans and feeling like you got to live up to a certain standard. You can make mistakes, fix them, get better from them. The Storm expect for that roster to be a little bit fluid for the next few weeks with players becoming available from the new league that just started a couple of weeks ago. And by the way, I would show you how wild highlights, but I'm out of time and there weren't any. They lost four to nothing. We'll be right back.